Today we are going to answer the question, how to counter Riot Shield. And as someone who has been specifically Riot Shielding for years, there is no better person to explain to you what traps I set for you when I play against you, what actually works against me as a Riot Shielder, and what I most often die to in game. Now we did jump into a multiplayer map where we set my health to 300 so we could make it realistic for Warzone. And there will be 11 Riot Shield counter tips for you guys with the last one being my favorite of course. Let's jump right in. Cody, go ahead and try to move side to side on me because he's trying to get an angle. Whatever angle he goes to, I'm going to re-angle it to it. And so we won't use any lethals or tacticals, but let's go ahead and see how this like left to right movement goes. So go ahead and go live. Nice. I'm waiting for him to reload both guns. I went to go for a jump shot where I would switch, slide, cancel, and jump. But the moment I did that, you lay down. Like, how did that it's feel? Me, it just gave me enough. It just gave me enough time to like get the gun loaded and then fin you know finish killing you. Ready? Yep. Make the riot shoulder think that you're out of ammo. Go about halfway through your mag, Cody. One guy I was playing back in the Verdance days, he did a fake reload on me where like he was shooting his gun and then he And then he Yeah, I canceled see it. it and then redid it. I see you. I do that. That's pretty yeah. good. Let's anticipate like that I'm gonna throwing knife you. So don't mag dump into me. That's the biggest mistake people can make. Um, is obviously mag dumping into him rather than trying to get an angle. But we'll go ahead. Beautiful. Exactly. <laughs> but the people that hold the throwing knife by waiting for me to do something and mess up and that throwing knife, we didn't exchange there, but like that often gets me killed. So guys, something to keep in mind is like, I don't ever try to cross Cody on his left or my right, because when I do that, I'm going to be exposed. I always yeah. try to cut him off on his, on my left because the right shield goes to the right. Try to go to my left hand side when you're fighting me because i'm likely going to be does it look more yeah. exposed yeah you're way more exposed if i run to the to my right yeah. your left yeah. you're yeah. way more exposed like yeah get it this way yeah no it's a lot less exposed yeah so let's try to keep that in mind let's do that again yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit. Nice, nice, yeah, yeah. Good riot shielder is definitely gonna keep me on the wrong side. Yup. You know? I mean, obviously, like, a good counter to you is unfortunately a stun. Like... Yes. Good? Yep. It's hard to kill with that so what I do there, guys, is if I do get stunned, usually you're going to have more time in BR. It, it seems to not work as well here. But if somebody stuns yeah. me, the moment that they're going to go behind me, I put on my back and then I mm. smart yeah. stun me, fake to go behind. So then, yeah, so I like throw that out. Nice. So what I usually do is when I'm trying to just fight a gunner, I look for them to do something with their their lethals or their tacticals. And that is exactly what you should do to a riot shielder because I'm going to use a, um, a stim. But like if you use anything, like any kind of equipment, look for my left elbow or on your yeah. right, I believe. Beautiful. Let me take a look at that. Beautiful. It definitely pulls it out. So if you yeah. get a riot shield or weakened, wait for them to pull out something, whether it's a throwing knife or a stem. How long do you have for like a knife? A knife. Yeah. So get me weak. Yeah. And now I'm going to go to knife. 
Oh, plenty of time. Okay. Unfortunately Let's for you. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so if he does go on height, my first thing is to is to start backing up. If they don't back up, jumping over I can, me. I can see your head. Yeah, that too is is great. Yeah. I've had people when they can get height and they can literally jump over me if I'm not backing up away from cover. Def, don't be afraid to leap yeah. over them. I can stay here. See, like I'm already shooting your head. I don't know. That's that's easy. For right shield, there's that. That's cake. Yeah, definitely a little bit of peek over the top of them. Oh, good shot behind. Height is great. And another reason that height is good to play against a riot shielder is because I, I don't personally use stuns, but like if I did use if stuns, you were. It, yeah. it's going to be hard to land that stun unless I bank it off a wall or something. But it it doesn't it does a good job with like the surrounding area, but it doesn't do good job with like vertical stun effect yeah. if that's per se so uneven ground is amazing to play with a riot shielder as well not only because of of height seeing over them the ineffectiveness of stuns but also because if, if i'm on some sort of like uneven ground it, you can't see it in this but like i'm gonna i can't cover my feet as well when i'm on uneven ground yeah. it's more of like a hill issue one other thing i want to see is moving side to side i believe exposes my feet is that correct Yes. Hit you there. Nice. And because I think that they're side steps. Yes. Yep. And so what a riot shielder is gonna do is when I approach somebody, is I need to be typically fully crouched. But I believe that's a nice nerf they made from Warzone One to maybe Warzone Two because I once wasn't super active in that. Even if you get them to crouch, now they're less mobile, and that might mm -hmm. be a great opportunity to get to the side of them because they're trying to cover up you could pop them like with their feet going side to side and then run to the side because they're going to be less mobile all right so when it comes to lethals we don't the biggest mistake i see people do is when they immediately see a riot shielder they release all of their lethals they release all of their yeah. grenades and so what i do as a smart riot shielder is when i see them i might come out get them to draw it and then I might reposition immediately if I know that they have lethals. Just like you need to constantly be moving so I don't hit you with a uh, throwing knife, I need to constantly be moving as well because I'm trying to draw out your explosives. So see what the riot shield is gonna do first, see how they move and, and get something set up because I'm trying yeah. to track, like when I'm playing with Cody, most people have a, a certain movement. They go left to right, they slide cancel left, they slide cancel right kind of get a feel for them see what their movement is just like i would to you so that you can time where you're going to throw your explosives that's a great knife oh thank you sir so my recommendation is that you want effectiveness not only if it hits or if it doesn't hit me personally i would use a thermite even if you don't hit me with a thermite it's gonna stun me so i come around the corner i see you i'm just gonna lob on oh that's good nice so what i would recommend there i would almost recommend Use your movement, get the person weak first because the weaker I am as a riot shielder, the less movement you're gonna get out of me because I'm exposed. And then when I'm not moving as much, that's where we get the knockout punch. All right. So yeah, if I was like... So here, this is also a good thing to do. So let's say you get a shot off on me any shot so let's say i cover up here now if you don't get your stick that's okay but i would anticipate if you're not able to get the stick and he throws it to my right you need to cut me off on my left and your right and so let's say i'm damaged i'm damaged here i go here he throws the nade right yeah like getting an angle on my left hand side so, yeah. yeah, because I'm going to have to leave that spot. Now, luckily, if he's able to get the stick, that's great. But if he doesn't get the stick, we should plan for where he's going to go. Because if I have to move and I'm already weakened, that's going to be the best time to strike. And something to keep in mind, guys, is that when I face a riot shielder, 
I also, I create space. Like, just like I, if somebody has grenades and things like that, I'm not getting close at first. I'm kind of seeing what they're doing. I'm seeing what they got because I want to draw that out because let's say they do hit me with a stun or they do hit me with a grenade as a riot shielder. That space is going to give me time to react or give time for the stun to go away if I know that's what they have and I'm able to assess that. You know, most riot shielders aren't like me. I don't run stuns. Most riot shielders will run a stun grenade. And so when you see them, try to draw out that one stun. Draw out that second stun. Have that space. Have that height. And then when there's no stuns in their inventory, just like I count your bullets as a, like a gunner player. And so once those stuns are gone, it is your time to shine. It's time to get an angle. It's time to get a grenade and all that good stuff. Let me see what this RPG does to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably eat it. Oh, I took no damage. That's insane. Oh, I took some damage. Did it get behind I me? Threw a, I threw a C4 behind you. Let me shoot the RPG behind you now. Okay. okay. I took damage. I have died to so many people using Tomfas. That, like, you can Tomfa me right in the face, I'm pretty sure. Could be close. Oh my god. Oh my god. I won't jump and then you jump and then we'll do us sure. both jumping on the next one. It's busted. That's hopeless nutty. Yes. You got above me just like getting high ground, yeah. dude. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the next one. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah. Ready? Yep. That was better though, like you survived a lot longer. Yeah, when I'm bashing, whether I'm bashing a riot shielder in BR, if you jump in melee, you're gonna have better odds. Riot shield versus riot shield, just so you guys know. Yeah, could you equip a gun with a throwing knife and now we're gonna melee with the throwing knife? Ready? All right. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, no, you win that fight all day. Okay, so that's dog water. All right, ready? All right, you jump, I won't. No, it's, that's no. tough. I can't get the no. I can't get that timing down personally. Oh, whoa! What'd you do? Oh there? yeah, yeah, yeah. I just timed it better. It, it's all it's all timing. You have to like peak of the jump. You have to knife. You you kind of see. Yeah. It. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Oh. Yeah. That's fine. that's so easy actually. Jump and go a little bit to the side. You can't even react to that. Oh. Oh. If you got some like really dexterous fingers and you can time that out without clawing, I, I think that'd be really tough. But since we both claw, that's pretty easy for us. Yeah, if you guys don't have paddles for sliding and jumping, get paddles or learn how yeah. to claw. Paddles are probably better for your hands, but it's too late for us. <laughs> you guys, if there's any counters to the Ryan Shield that we did not cover here today, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, appreciate you guys being here and I'll see you in the next one.